Okay, good evening. Welcome to Math for Kids number 96. Math for Kids number 96. Today we're going to look at a special kind of curve, or a special kind of figure called the Koch curve. And a fractal. Or sometimes it's called the Koch snowflake. Yeah, this is an example of something that's called a fractal. Oh, and I need to just check how much room do I have at the bottom down there? Ah, enough. Okay. So, here's what we start out with. We start out with this, just a triangle. How many sides does this triangle have? Three. Three. The length of each side, we're just going to say, is one, just in the beginning. Okay? Yes. And then, the total length all the way around the triangle, if there's three sides and each one of them has length one, how far is it all the way around? Length three. Length is three. It's three times one, which is three. Okay, now, going to make the Koch curve or the Koch snowflake, what we do is we, we cut each side in, into thirds and we make a new triangle on the thirds. So we make a triangle that goes up like that, around, around, up like that, new triangle, up like that, around, new triangle, up like this and around. Okay? So this is iteration number two. And because we cut each of these sides in, in each of the sides of the other triangle into thirds, what are each of these little sides of this new figure? How long are they? No, one third. They're one third. Well, we have. Okay, so the length of each side is one third. Okay, and every time where we used to have, well, how many sides do we have now? One. Yeah, these count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12. Whoa. So what's the total length all the way around now? It, you have 1 third, one third times 6, or just 2. 1 third times, why 1 third times 6? 1, 2, how three, 4. Uh, and, and these are all 1 third. Right, how many sides do we have? Twelve, sides, twelve sides. times twelve. One third times twelve, which, which, four. which is four. Okay, write that in. Okay, so that's actually pretty interesting. So the side length got smaller. It went from one to a third, but we had more little edges. So it actually got longer to go around it. Ooh, that was cool. kind of surprising. Now, you know what we're going to do next? We're going to do the same the thing. Um, can you give me a different color marker so I can... It doesn't color. matter. It doesn't matter what color it is. Any color you Just want. Just a color that works. Yeah, a color that works would be good. Green. Green is probably good. Okay, this works. All right. So now we cut each side into thirds again. Okay. Bing, 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 and we do our same process. Make a triangle. Boom, boom, 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 make a triangle. Boom, make a triangle. Boom, boom, make a triangle. Boom, boom, make a triangle. Boom, boom, make a triangle. Go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so now we've got a new curve. Hopefully this shows up okay. All these side lengths are now supposed to be the same. Did it show up all right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So, now, because we cut all these sides into thirds now, and they were one-third long to begin with. Now they're one-ninth. Now they're one-ninth long. So why don't you write that down, but don't, don't, block the, don't block the view from the camera. Okay. Now they're one-ninth. Now we have to figure out how many sides there are. You now, just count them all. Yeah. The way what we're going to do to count them <coughs> is we used to have 12 sides. But for each like, 12... For each one of those 12, one side became 1, 2, 3, 4. Do you, see, do you see that? Yes. Okay, it used to look like, each side used to look like this, and then we cut it into thirds and made it look like this. So 1 became 4. Does that so, make sense? Yeah, you multiply by 4. Right, so now how many, how many are here? 48. 48 sides, if we count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way around, we get to 48. Now, 48 times 1 ninth. The sides got shorter. They went from 1 third to 1 ninth. So what is 48 times 1 ninth? 
Well, 48 isn't, isn't divisible by 9. Yeah, 48's not divisible by 9, but it's definitely divisible by 3. Yes, yeah, so which you can do some simplifying on that. Right. So this is 48 <coughs> times 1 ninth is 16 <coughs> thirds. Okay? Yes. All right. That's interesting. Now, is 16 thirds more than 4, or is it less than 4? It's more. It's more. Because 12 thirds is 4. Right, so it's, a, it's actually what? 16 thirds is, a, is an improper fraction. What? Would be what? 15 and a third. Well, it's 15 thirds plus one third. Which, so is, which is five and a third. Five and a third, okay. So it's actually more. The side length got even shorter. The number of sides grew, but it's longer going all the way around now. Now we'll do one last one and see if we can see any patterns. Now I'm going to cut them into thirds again, but now I'm not going to, I'm just going to draw it. It starts to be kind of hard to draw, right? Yeah. This can be infinitely long. Well, let's see if we can figure it out. This is going to take me a while to draw it. Nice. This is a crazy looking shape. Yeah. Drawing, 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 drawing. Almost done. Almost done. I'm almost all the way around. I didn't miss any. Okay, there you go. So you see it starts looking kind of like a snowflake? Yeah. Now this third iteration, each side got one-third as long again, right? Each one of these little bumps got one-third as long. So now the sides are one-twenty-seventh. They're super short. They started out being one, then they went to one-third, then to one-ninth, then to one-twenty-seventh. Do you see the pattern that's happening to the side length? Yes. What's happening every time? So you're dividing by three every you're, time. You're dividing by three. Now we've got to figure out what happens to the number of sides every time. Well, remember... You multiply by four. You multiply by four every time because each time you have a side, yeah. what you do to go to the next step is you chop it into thirds and make a little bump. So one turns into one, two, three, four. Okay? So we got to figure out what is 48 times four. Well, it's 160 plus 32. It's 192. There's 190. After just, just three iterations through this from the start and then three times later, we got 192. Two. Sorry, I wrote 194 at one. 92. Now we have to figure out what 192 times 127th is. Well, that's going to be the same as... Do you have another marker? This one's not so this great. This one really works. Okay. So 192 over 27 is going to be the same as 64 divided by 9. Okay. So that's going to be our answer here, 64 divided by 9. Now, 64 divided by 9, this is 3, 4, this is a little bit more than 5. This is what, a little bit more than? 7. A little bit more seven than 7. So wait a minute. This is getting crazy. It's taking longer and longer to get around. So if you were like a little ant trying to walk around this, every time we chop it up, it gets longer to walk around. And in fact, that pattern is going to continue. Every time we divide it up and we go a new step, it gets longer and longer and longer. And in fact, if we keep doing this forever, it's going to be infinitely long to go around. Can you believe that? Even though you can see the whole perimeter. Right, even though you can see the whole perimeter, it's going to be infinitely long. Isn't that crazy? But you can see by how long it takes me to draw it every time. <laughs> so you have to go on YouTube or something like that and see somebody doing it a little bit more steps than this. But this is the amazing thing about this Coke curve, is that it gets infinitely long going all the way around it. But, you want to know something else that's amazing? What? I can always draw a circle around it. So even if it's infinitely long? Even though it's infinitely long, it lives inside of a, of a, of a big circle, so it has a finite area. And you can't actually figure out what the area is, but it's just we're not we don't have enough time to do infinitely that right now. Infinitely finite. It's it's infinitely finite. <laughs> it's infinitely long to go around, it has a finite area. It's a really neat thing. It's a special kind of Whoa. of thing called a fractal. 
And there, you, you've seen other kinds of fractals before. What's another kind of fractal, another interesting fractal that you've seen? This robot shape, this like snowman shape. Yeah, it's called the Mandelbrot set. Yeah. The Mandelbrot set, you've seen that. So this is a really neat thing. So we'll study this a little bit more someday. Good job tonight.